Sometimes Forex trading is a wild and woolly place to be. That's why Hughes here. To pose your questions to Walter, the naked Forex guy. Hughes got questions and Walter's got the answers. Here at the Truth About FX Podcast. Hey, Walter, I want to find the right time frame to trade. How do I decide on this? Well, this is a really interesting question, Hugh. I think a lot of traders, they approach it the wrong way. They think of it in terms of, hey, you know, Joe, Joe Trader makes a lot of money and he trades the one-hour chart, so I got to trade the one-hour chart. <laughs> it's not really that, yeah, I, I don't think, really what you want to do is you want to sort of fit it into your life. Mm -hmm. So give you a couple of examples. Um, I have a I have a good friend and he lives in England and he basically sits down in the morning and does his trading every morning. So he looks at the lower time frames. He has a, a sort of a business that almost runs itself. So he doesn't have to do a whole lot in terms of his business. And instead what he does is he concentrates on his trading in the morning. And so he has that set block of four or five hours where he, he'll sit down and watch the one hour charts and try to lock into some trades. Mm -hmm. Now, there are other traders who, like for example, I know another, another student, she's in France and she will actually trade the four hour candles. And the reason she does that is she can check the candle that prints before she takes her child to school. And then when she comes back, she has a few hours and then she can check the next candle. So um, that kind of, if you have the kind of life, life where you can check your charts, you know, two or three times a day and you're okay with trading the four hour candles and you've back tested and they work for you, that would be another opportunity, you know. So you kind of want it, or if you're like me, you know, you really just want to do this once a day where you sit down and you look at what's going on. And to be fair, I, I do it twice a day. So I look, so here in Australia, the way it works is the my daily candles will close in the morning. So in the morning, I'll see the daily candle close and it, it changes a little bit depending on what time of the year it is. But basically in the morning, I'll see what happened on the daily candle. And then I'll know when the daily candle closes that morning, I'll know whether or not I want to get into a trade that evening when the London and Frankfurt sessions start to fire up. So basically, I get my trading day in order in the morning and then I actually go into my platform and put in my orders that evening. So I basically have about a half hour period every day, you know, about 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening for my trades. And I don't have to do what the four hour chart traders do or the, or the one hour uh, candle traders do, you know, where I, I, you have to spend more time literally like watching the chart. So that's kind of how it works. And sometimes it's going to be a function of your account size and, you know, whether you have a job or a family or other responsibilities and what part of the world you're in and all that. But basically, you want to look for something that fits your lifestyle. So whether it's trading the daily charts 20 or 30 minutes a day or trading the four-hour charts where you actually sit down two or three times a day and make decisions or whether you actually have that block of time as my friend in England does to sit down and watch the one-hour charts for a few hours, that's basically what you want to decide and then you go from there. So you don't really want to go by so-and-so, what they're doing, how they're making profit. You really want to go by your lifestyle, what you want in terms of how, you know, how much do you want to get away from the charts. Mm -hmm. And I know in the beginning it's really tempting to do a lot and to sit down and just trade, trade, trade. But really, most traders are going to be better off starting on the higher time frames and working their way down slowly to the lower time frames. It's usually easier to go from that very disciplined approach where you're using you, where you're using basically your frontal lobes mm -hmm. um, and you're planning out your trade before you you move down in, into the wild uh, you know even you know even the one hour candles can be pretty wild I know it sounds crazy to people that are used <laughs> to trading the, the five minute charts but even the one hour candles can can really hop around a bit so yeah so it really is probably going to be dependent on your approach and what your lifestyle is like and what you want what, what do you want to get out of trading do you really want to sit down you know, four or five days a week for five or six hours a, a day and try and restrain yourself from going crazy on the charts. I mean, that's the kind of thing that you need to decide. So that's that would be my answer. What what about you? So how did you come to the, I know you trade some four hour charts and so how did you come to the to where you're at? Um, for me it was just, yeah, I just get too nervous uh, trading those lower time frames. And like, like you said, like the one hour is gonna be my lowest time frame because otherwise you just kind of go nuts and even that's a little crazy sometimes. But yeah, it just seemed to work out more for me and I'm I'm pretty good at sitting on a trend. 
I've found that's my strength. So if I can get in on the four hour chart or the daily chart and just sit on a trend until the exit signal comes up, then I usually do pretty well in those trades. So that's what helped me stick with that time frame. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's that's really good. You you definitely have some qualities that are a little bit different to most traders that you know <laughs> you know, being able to sit on a trade like that is is so cool. And then also the fact that, you know, you're not one of those guys who wants to take a whole bunch of trades, but in fact you had to work through, you know, being a little bit trigger shy. You have some really cool so if you're listening to this right now and you have some of the same characteristics as Hugh, you're actually in a really good spot because you have some things that are easier to build on than the trader who comes in and is you know taking trades left right and center and just can't restrain himself or herself and it's going crazy and and just wants more opportunities those traders have a little bit more difficulty trying to find discipline whereas you have a lot of really great habits to build on so that's awesome i i, I love hearing this about about your trading this is cool <laughs> <laughs> cool well thanks for the tips some awesome ideas and uh talk to you next time see ya see ya